Welcome to 12 Minute Talks, where important information is shared in a short time period. Learn from other business owners, entrepreneurs, and experts about what they do to help you find solutions to everyday topics in 12 minutes or less. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the 12 Minute Talks podcast. I'm very excited to have with us today Stefan Contorno. He's a financial advisor at UBS and Touchstone Financial. He's going to talk to us today about some importance of why a financial plan is good to have in place and many other important things um, in a short time period. Stefan, thank you so much for being with us today. Lorena, thanks for having me. Awesome. So, you know, um, with my background, I do insurance, but um, you kind of uh, in the same industry there. But Absolutely. I think uh, financial planning is something really important. And as, as insurance brokers, we kind of touch on it here and there, right? But probably not as much as a financial advisor such as yourself does. Um, but before we get into exactly what you do and how you help others, you and your team, um, why don't you tell the audience a little bit more about how you got started in this industry? Sure. Well, thank you. Um, so I'll take you back to the beginning. I was uh, born and raised in New York in the city, actually in the boroughs. And um, as, as a young child, I always uh, was fascinated with the financial markets. So growing up in New York at the time that I did, it seemed like there were a couple of different avenues you could take from a professional point of view. One is the very noble profession of being maybe a firefighter or a police officer or a school teacher, or you could go into the financial world, which it's the financial capital of the world. So many people take that route. So I would say from about the age of 12, I was always interested in the financial world. I don't think I knew exactly where it would bring me, um, but but that certainly uh, it's been been quite a journey. So I went to school in Manhattan. I went to school called Baruch College, which uh, basically most of the people who go to that that school uh, major in business. So for me, my journey started right out of college, working downtown Wall Street um, in more of an operations or a back office type of setting, which I think was a great thing because. I started as a management uh, in the management training program where I was able to really see the back, uh, the back offices of uh, the financial industry. So it gave me a lot of knowledge to eventually, you know, become uh, and parlay into what I do now. So, uh, so I started my career in 1999 as a financial advisor and, uh, and I've been in the financial advisory business ever since. My team uh, is called Touchstone Wealth Partners. And we're, as you mentioned, we're with UBS Wealth Management. UBS is the largest wealth management firm in the world. And Touchstone is one of the top and largest uh, wealth management practices in the nation. We're a little different, Lorena. We have offices in Florida, which is where I am right now. We also have offices in Ohio and offices in New York. And that's all the group of Touchstone. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, I mean, it definitely makes sense coming from New York, right, to want to be in the financial industry, uh, the tall buildings, you know, and the stock market is right there as well. That's <laughs> so right. It makes sense, you know. Um, growing up, it's funny, I, I thought I wanted to be a stockbroker. I don't know why, because I talk <laughs> very low. You can't really tell because of the microphone. But yeah, I don't think that that would have been a, a good job for me. Um, <laughs> and and so, uh, Stefan, why don't you tell us a little bit, a little bit more about what it is that you actually help people with. But why don't you explain, you know, a lot of times people think a financial plan, they see charts and numbers and in their head, you know, um, but what does it really entail to get a financial plan and why would somebody want to do to do that? Yeah, I think it's a great question. So our team, really our focus as a team is on financial planning. We do very comprehensive financial planning. It's a good question you ask because I think a lot of people don't truly understand what a financial plan is. They hear the term so often, but they don't know what that means. Does it mean to have a budget? Does it mean to have a certain risk tolerance when it comes to investing in the market? Uh, most people, what they do, at least the the older way of doing things was to do what we call a risk assessment, which means we would give you a questionnaire, you would fill in kind of your comfortability with investing in the markets. Uh, if the markets drop 10%, what would you do? Would you sell out? Would you stay the course or, or add money? If it went down 20%, what would you do? And so on. Um, financial planning is way, way above that, okay? The way it works and the way I like to describe it to pe people, in my opinion, 
I think everybody should have a financial plan. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter what age you are. A lot of times people say, am I too young to have one? Am I too old to have one? No, it's never too late because it's a roadmap. How are you going to get somewhere if you don't know how to get there, right? If you don't have a plan to do so. So here's the simplest way to think of a financial plan. It all starts with the balance sheet. So the first thing we're always going to do is we're going to take a look at your assets, everything that you uh, that you uh, own, right? Um, so that could be your home. It could be your investments. It could be cars. It could be lots of different things. Then we look at the other side of the balance sheet, which are the liabilities, and that's everything you owe, right? That's important. We'll take a look at what rates you're paying on your mortgage, if you have credit card debt, whatever it may be. And then we put on paper your dreams of what you want to actually accomplish in life. For some people, we are we're factoring a plan for 20, 30, 40, even 50 years, and plans change all the time, but everybody has some kind of a goal when it comes to money. For some, it's being able to retire at a certain age and live on a certain amount of money. For some, it's about not outliving their money. And I hear that one often. Everyone's afraid to outlive their money. Some maybe want to buy a second home or downsize their home, or maybe they even want to just buy a car every couple of years or even travel uh, throughout their retirement as well. So everybody has different goals. So we put all of that on paper. And then one of the certified financial planners on our team will actually create and customize this financial plan. The way we do that is we stress test the plan, Lorena. We basically take 10,000 different market and economic uh, simulations and basically stress test the plan to see how would it perform based on certain environments, good economies and bad economies. And once we do that, we're actually able to determine what the likelihood of someone having a probability, a higher probability of success based on the plan Sometimes we do these plans and, and, and hopefully this is always the case, but it's not. We come back and we say, you know what? Everything you're doing is perfect. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're in great shape. Other times we have to make some tweaks along the way. And the good news is there's generally opportunities for us to fix things. And that's why it's good to do this earlier than later because you have time on your side. So we'll make certain adjustments. Maybe you need to save more money for a period of time. Maybe it's just the way your asset allocation or the way you're invested needs to change the percentage in stocks, bonds, and cash. For a lot of people, it's an efficiency thing. It's about not being properly allocated or diversified. So once we make those type of adjustments, we then sit down with our clients and we tell them, these are the things that you need to do in order to achieve what you want. And hopefully we can get you to that amount of income that you want every year. Um, or that second home or whatever it may be. But once you do this, and this is the important part is it doesn't end there. Once you have a financial plan, it's something you need to continue to uh, to reexamine, right? At least right. once a year, at least once a year, a plan should be looked at because sometimes there's certain adjustments or even just changes in our lives that we need to reflect for in the plan and make sure that we adjust for that. Now, Stefan, I think that's great. Everything that you said, it was a lot as well but uh a lot of words that um are like from your industry right so why don't we break this down just a little bit more for like let's say put it in some layman's terms so yeah. are you saying that people should you know have a budget and then based on that budget decide what to do for retirement is that more or less a, a little a little bit, Lorena. So, so it starts with a budget. Most people don't know what their budget is. You know, when I ask people how much money they spend every month, they generally don't know the answer. So you always want to have a budget first, because if you want to have a certain retirement and you want to live on a certain amount of money every month and every year, well, you need to know how much money you actually need to spend, right? So a budget is the beginning, okay? But then you want to have those dreams. So I tell people, sit down at the coffee table or, you know, or, or at, your, at your home on the couch with your spouse or significant other, whoever it may be, and just have a conversation about what you envision retirement to look like. It looks different for everybody. For some people, they want to keep working through retirement because they enjoy working. For some, they just want to sit on a beach and have a corona and, and enjoy life, right? So everybody has a different goal when it comes. So it all starts with that dream, if you want to call it that, of what you envision it to look like. And then the easiest way to describe this, we work backwards, okay? We determine what do you need to do with your money and how do you invest it properly so that you can actually achieve that desired retirement outcome that you're hoping for. Yeah, I think that that's great. If you don't have an end goal in life, you know, you day in and day out, you know, and retirement is here before you know it, you know? 
Um, I can tell you time, as you know, time goes by extremely quickly and uh, you're exactly right about that. Awesome. And so Stefan, how can somebody reach out to you? If they would like more information about what you do. Yeah, I'm pretty easy to find on the internet. I mean, you could just simply Google my name, Stefan Contorno. It's Stefan with an F. Um, you can visit our team website, which is uh, UBS, which is our firm, UBS.com backslash touchstone. Um, on LinkedIn, I am a very easy person to find. Uh, locally down here where I live on CBS uh, News, which is called Wink News down here, I, I'm the host of a show every week called Money Monday. So uh, it's a live broadcast where I spend generally about three to four minutes discussing various financial planning topics every week. And those could be found pretty much all over the internet as well. Awesome. So I'll be sure to link um, everything down below so everybody listening can easily find your information. Um, I had one question for you. Um, oh, hold on. I'll edit this out. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Not a problem. Okay. Um, so Stefan, why don't you tell us um, what's something that sets you aside? Because it feels like sometimes financial advisors are like realtors. There's one in every corner, right? Why, why would somebody choose you over your, your competition? Now, well, it's without, a, you know, talking bad about uh, competitors. Well, I would never do that. And I think it's a good question because there are a lot of us, right? A um, couple of responses to that. First thing, whenever you're looking to choose a financial advisor, I think there are two things you need to look at. Um, first thing you need to look for is the resources available. So it, it's good to work with an advisor that has a firm that could deliver lots of different services and solutions to you. I think that's big. And the second thing is always going to be the chemistry, you know, whether or not you feel comfortable with the person that you're, you're working with. But as a team, Touchstone Wealth Partners, I mean, our focus, again, is financial planning. And a lot of firms offer financial planning these days. And in fact, I think they even use similar software. The difference, I think, with what we do is the way that we interpret the plan. So you, we, can, we can get data, but how do you interpret that data? And, uh, and how do you kind of solve problems that people have? So we're problem solvers. That's a big thing. I mean, we don't just pick investments for clients. We help them solve some kind of a, a problem or a need that they have. So the interpretation of a plan, in my opinion, is kind of what sets us apart from many others. Awesome. So it's, it goes full, full circle, not just, you know, retirement, but everything else along the way. Um, Stefan, it's been great having you today on the 12 Minute Talks podcast. And I do have one last question for you. Um, what, what do you say is the last good book that you read that you think everybody out there should be reading? The last good book. Well, I, so I listen to a lot of podcasts. Okay. Um, counts, and I do, <laughs> yeah. And I also do, I'll tell you, I enjoy audiobooks, So I do a lot of those as well. So I'd say the last one that I actually listened to or read was actually my friend, uh, Ryan Serhant, uh, which is big money energy. Um, I don't know if anyone knows Ryan, he's the, 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 pretty much the biggest real estate agent in the world at this point. And his, his book, I mean, he had sell it like Serhant, which was the first book, but the second big money energy is really just a great topic. And I think there's a lot to learn in that book. Fantastic. And we'll also put the link below for that book as well. And yeah, I mean, I think we all know Ryan, or at least hope, you know, um, he was on that TV show as well, right? Selling, about selling real estate. Yeah. Yeah. He's on that million dollar listing. That's correct. Thank you. That. Yes. <laughs> um, well, Stefan, is there anything else you would like to add? No, I think that's it. But again, I, I appreciate you having me, uh, having me on today. Financial planning is something that's just really important to me. And, uh, our team, I'll tell you, Lorena, we're so focused on education, whether it's through the news or whether it's through teaching classes at universities. I think anyone listening and watching right now needs to do the best they can to get educated because when it comes to finances, you, you need to know a lot of information to make sure that you're protected. Yeah, I, I think that's important and it's something you want to delegate and not just depend on yourself by what your friends say or the news or whatever, right? Because you're not an expert in that, you know? Um, so it's definitely good to have uh, solid information so clients can make informed decisions. Um, thank you so much, Stefan, for being on today. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this podcast and hope you will listen to the next one. I'm Lorena Tomasini and you can contact me via email 
life at malms.com. Make it a great day.